I don't look at ultramarathon running um, as an extreme sport. Um, and I also look at it as, as a sport that many, many people can do and many people can get a lot of pleasure out of. And of course, this is a conversation that I frequently have with people because people who just don't understand. But the thing is, I understand where they're coming from as well. I remember so clearly the first time I ever ran more than five kilometers, when I ran eight kilometers, and I was in a world of pain then. And I couldn't believe that anyone could ever run 10 kilometers, how could people possibly run a marathon? And I I try to never lose sight of that because it helps me to, I have such a clear understanding of where other people are coming from when they question me about running 100 k's or more. And so I relate that story to other people and and the extremeness of it, it's, it's you're not putting in um, the intensity, I think, over a short duration that you put in a short race. Um, to do an ultra event, it's okay to walk, it's okay to stop and have a drink and have something to eat, it's okay to stop and stretch. A minute or two here and there really doesn't make that much difference. I mean, the elite, of course, may treat it differently, but it's great to see them walking as well. Um, but it, it gives you that freedom, it gives you that freedom to make it okay to stop if you need to stop, to rest if you need to rest, to walk and so on and then run when you feel like it. It's so, I don't see it as an extreme sport, it's more of a, uh, a mental endurance that you develop as well as physical but it's, uh, yeah, it's endurance but it's not extreme, anyone can do it.